An impact metric is a great way to break up a data-dense presentation and help your audience focus on a critical value. Instead of having your audience parse through a table to find an essential metric, lay it out with an image that helps your audience remember the value with an impact metric. You can really unleash your inner creative spirit when creating an impact metric. I'm going to show you how to create a basic impact metric using free images and PowerPoint. First, decide on your data point or metric that you want to share. For this example, I'm going to pretend that I'm reporting out on employee engagement and satisfaction survey and want to emphasize the point that 85% of our employees reported that they're satisfied with the amount of paid time off they receive. Images that make people think about vacation vary among individuals. If you know your audience loves the outdoors, perhaps a nature scene in a mountain is a good image choice. I personally think of the beach when it comes to vacations, so that's the image I'm going to use to share this information. You can use Google Image Search to find a suitable image that you have permission to reuse. Go to images.google.com and search the type of image that you want to use. In this case, I'm going to type in beach. Some great images appear, but I want to make sure that I'll be able to download an image of a suitable resolution and one that I have permission to reuse. I can filter my results by clicking on the Tools menu and adding in a couple of additional requirements. First, I'll pick a large sized image. You can also narrow the image down by color if desired. And then select Labeled for Reuse under the Rights menu. This is important to make sure that you're not using copywritten images or images that you need to pay for. Once you have those filters in place, you can begin to browse for an image that catches your eye. I suggest selecting an image that has a large section of solid color space, like the sky in the background of these images, to place your text of your impact metric. Scrolling through my options, I'm going to work with this image of a sandcastle on the beach. Clicking into the image will bring you to the site that the image resides on, where you can verify that you're able to use the image for free. Download and save the image. Open PowerPoint and insert a blank slide. Insert the image into that slide. You can resize the image to fill the whole slide, or you can get more creative with design and picture frames in PowerPoint. I'm going to keep it simple here and just extend the image to the full size of the slide. When you resize, you may want to consider moving the main part of the image, in this case the sandcastle, to one side to give you more room for your text. Now it's time to add in the text for the impact metric. Insert a text box and add the value you want to emphasize, blowing it up nice and big. Insert another text box and add in the supporting text for the value. Creating two different text boxes makes it easier to move the text and values around in the slide, as well as resize your font. Now it's time to play around with the sizing and font color. Align your text, play around with the size, making it bigger or smaller, and use similar color to link the value with the text that provides context to the number. One way to create a nice connection with an impact metric is to color match your highlight font with a color in the image. I'm going to use the orange of the toy in the sand to do this. The eyedropper tool allows you to easily grab any color on the screen and use it. Highlight the text you want to change, click on the font color option, and then choose the eyedropper tool. If you're using a Mac, you need to click into the More Colors menu, and then the eyedropper tool will appear. Hover the eyedropper over the color you want to steal, and then click. Now your font will match that color. I also want to match the words Being Satisfied in the same color. Highlight those values and either use the eyedropper again or alternatively, the color should be stored in your recent colors list for easy reuse. Continue to play with your spacing and font color as desired. Now you have an impact metric that will really focus your audience in on the key information you want to convey. Here's a few other impact metrics to help you get inspired.